para mi renta, para mi comida, para todo esto, para mi familia. It's for the rent, says street vendor Juan. He's been selling bouquets of flowers here at Salt Lake and Bell for about a month. The flowers cost $10. Not that long ago, he was held at gunpoint for a few hundred dollars. Today, we walked with community activist Eden Enamarado. He handed Juan pepper spray and talked about the increased threat. If he was in a vulnerable area that, uh, let's say, if it's happened more than once, I would go ahead and provide security for him where he, someone can park a block away and be there for, you know, six hours and just be able to protect him. In 2021, attacks on these vendors is on the rise in the Long Beach Cudahy area. Three attacks in three weeks at the same location. Being either punched, uh, pushed, uh, robbed. Or worse, black eyes, like this man, beaten up on Long Beach Boulevard and robbed of $500 of his entire day's earnings. This population is vulnerable. Enamorado is handing out pepper spray and offering guards to vendors who need to work but are afraid to stand there alone. From my experience, from the hundreds of vendors that I've spoken with in the, in the past two months, I would say about 75% of them have been attacked. Oscar tells a similar story. Objects thrown at him while he's selling flowers on a Cudahy street corner. The flowers are beautiful. This brother and sister love their purchase and express empathy for the plight of the vendors. I think it's kind of sad that when they get robbed, I mean, they're just trying to make money for themselves or for other people. It's people's life and, and hard earning money and, and they're out here for, for days, hours. If there's anyone who is a future attacker or is he thinking about attacking these vendors, you know, I just want to let them know that they are not alone anymore. In Cudahy, Laura Diaz, Fox 11 News. A GoFundMe account has been created to help. You can search for the Help Protect Street Vendors.